In yesterday's video, we grinded 1 to 99 necromancy in one single gaming session, and had a brief stint at rank 1 on the overall high scores, which is not something I ever thought I'd be able to say considering I'm not even at 3 billion total XP. Today, we're going to finish our 30,000 souls because I want to be one of the first people to take out the first necromancer. Good morning, gamers. Welcome to day two, necromancy. Uh, I only slept like three hours. I just woke up. Like I, I, I set an alarm for five hours and I woke up after three. So we're just, we're going to ball. Former rank one RuneScape player here. Check it in for day two. But yeah, the thing that I thought was really cool is all three of us had completely different methods. And I just think that's so cool. Most skill races, the people at the, at the, at the front all do the same thing. Wait, wait, Jagex sent me a random, a random audio file. I'm sorry, we... What? What is that? Ryan, my apprentice. If you want to interview me, I... I have much to teach you. Let's chat. Wait! Wait, I wasn't expecting to feel things. Wait, does that mean I'm getting... I'm getting... We're, we're doing Let's Chat again? Wait, things are going so well. I actually, what? Is there backstory? Yeah, so Let's Chat is the show I did on the RuneSkip YouTube channel last year. And it like didn't really go perfectly. And I really wanted a chance to run it back and do it again and do it better. And, and go to Jagex and interview the devs. Also, you know how I bought like a billion Blood Reaver scrolls for 268 mil? I think I should sell them back and hopefully get some of my money back. I profited. Wait, I'm actually a merchant god. I profited a hundred mil. Is there a single target rebo bar? We're gonna cook one up right now. Oh, also, let me go to my wall souls really quick. Odds we buy the whole tree. I haven't done the quest for that. I haven't done the quest for that, but I will. I haven't done the quest for that. Unlock you. Unlock you. Unlock you. Uh, Tome is the warlock. It looks like we should definitely do. We now have an almost full tree. I want my 35,000 souls. I, I want to actually do the boss, because if the boss is good XP and fun, I would rather do the boss. I'm just, I want to keep my options open. Homeboy's floating. Yeah, dude. Sponge said, lucky I wasn't racing. I got all the strats. He would have gotten absolutely smoked. I would love it if you would bring me dinner. That would be sick. Sounds good. Thank you. GF is a keeper. That was my dad. <laughs> I've been live 29 hours in the last day and a half. And that's the worst thing that's happened. Last page. 107,000 people are at least level 15 in necromancy. That's insane for RuneScape 3. All right, this is the the last uh, the last ritual we have to do for the 30,000 wreck for the first necromancer. Have I killed Raziel? Not yet. We've got some quests to do first. Tomes of the Warlock is the, the first quest. We now have 30,000 souls. I don't have 35,000, just 30,000. But as you can see, 30,105 means we can we can get to the first necromancer. All right, it's questing time. All right, Tomes the Warlock quest complete. And that gives me a bunch of juice, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Life transfer, greater bone shield, darkness, invoke death. And now we've got a nice looking skill tree. This is really fun. All right, go skeleton. This way. You know what's really funny? I was thinking about it. I lost by 12 minutes. So really what happened is I lost the 99 necromancer race because I hadn't done the Mogur quest. All right, we're now on Alpha versus Omega. This is the quest with the with the Raziel fight. Take me to Raziel Citadel. I'm gonna finish once and for all. Here we go. I've come to face you, Raziel. You and what undead army? Oh yeah. Blow him up. Blow him up. Death skulls. Bang. 10k. 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 Come on, dude. I have so much juice. Bang! 16k to the beast! Boom! You want the smoke? Come get some. Oh, he's got hella mechanics. Wait, idea? 
idea? 20Ks? Okay. I don't know what to do with these. Oh, I can attack them. Oh, it's full. Wait, he's charging something. Okay. Dude, why does he have so many minions? Maybe I just focus him. You know what? Let's try to focus him. Oh, God! Okay, no, I have to focus him. I have to focus him. No more games. I don't know where he is. Up top? Okay. Oh, my God. Dude, this boss is gonna be hard as hell. This is story mode? I mean, we are no fooding it though, to be fair. Got him. All right, let's go. Dude, he took centuries practicing and I beat him in a day. Talk to that and then we fight Raziel. That was so cool. I need a free invent space because I didn't use food. Get clapped. All right, we're done. All right, let's go. We've got a boss to fight. Let's go. So we're going to start with the AOE bar. 20Ks. Threads of Fate. Spec. Okay, no, you have to kill the minions, dude. Oh, no, my familiar died. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, my God. That's a level. Death skulls. 139 combat. Oh, he stuns. I shall reap your soul. I don't know what that means. What keeps knocking my prayer off? Wait, let me kick. Let me, let me kick. Oh, no, I have a rod. No, rod is actually going to int. I got him. Let's go first round. Yeah, I don't really know how the mechanics work, but we're going to figure it out. I hate to say it, he's really hard. So I think the biggest thing I need is I think I should do this single combat bar. Finger of death is S, heal is D, and then I need, um, I need this zombie to blow up. I think I can clean this up. Well, I didn't know what my hit chance was going to be. I will switch to reviewing now. Heal for damage dealt by the ghost. Okay, so I definitely, I want a ghosty boy and I want the zombie. Okay, are we ready? I just signed myself to life transfer instantly. Oh, it just gives him uh Ooh, I think I can ignore that. I'm gonna ignore the conduits next time. Four minute kill, wait. Let me cook. See you idiot. That was awesome. Okay, we're getting way better. 417, okay. We're actually cooking. We're absolutely cooking. Yes, chef. <laughs> Dude, I'm cooking. I'm absolutely cooking. Okay, ignore this whole obelisk. 100% ignore it. So now I need to... We need some AOEs now. Whoa, what the crap? Okay, but we were on a pace. We were on like a sub three pace. No, that's fine. See you, idiot. Three minute kill. Go, a little more. Nice, let's go, dude. 321. Yeah, that was the worst lead I've ever seen in my life. I wasn't gonna say anything, but I got eight catalytic animus stones for that. Yeah, the armor death mark would be really good for last phase. I totally agree with you. Okay, we need better AoE for his skeletons. They're actually kind of painful. Death mark him and see what he 
Wait, I death marked him. Why didn't it work? I don't know. Here, wait. Let's just run around for a bit here. Oh, my, my dude's got it. Unlucky. Uh, what is that? Oh, we're 60? What? Yo, that's a big drop. Seven mil? I thought there were more, but that's okay. Seven mil's good. I'm good with seven mil. I actually baited myself. Because yesterday they were like four mil each, and I was like, wait. Those are four mil each, man. That's a pretty big drop. That's so much damage right now. I think I've got it. I'm not really taking a ton of damage. See you, idiot. 316. Okay, I'm getting better. Soul runes. Get on the drop table. We like that. What am I missing in chat? I'm confused. Could you wolf another kill? Oh, of course. What's up? Oh no, is the boss broken? Is something wrong? Notice some issues with the drop tables sorting it quick. Like anima stones being wrong, etc. Oh, okay. Yeah, eight was too many. They gotta go down to seven. So apparently some parts of the drop table were not updated to the newer version. So they're just they're updating it real quick, and then we get to and then we get the ball out. He's so cracked right now. Bang. 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 Tenth kill. Eight dragon stones. Again. I'm gonna laugh if I get a tier 95. And then the RuneScape community proceeds to hate me forever, even more than they already do. Wait, look how much damage I'm doing right now. He's like not even summoning minions. There's been like a perfect kill. Two powerful mementos. Wait, 237? Wait. We're freaking moving, dude. Okay, we actually just cooked the last phase. Bang. Bang. Oh, he's not dead. Are you kidding me? Oh, was so that was almost a really good last phase. It's okay. Got him. Two minute boss fight, fair enough. 234 new PR, let's go. It's too easy. Yeah, you guys have to remember that this is a perfect, to me from a difficulty standpoint, a perfect final boss for necromancy. It's supposed to be a test of knowing what the necromancy abilities do. And it's got a good combo of movement, of AOE, of taking damage, of points where it's really good to do different things. Like to me, that's kind of what you want from a final necromancy boss, right? It wasn't supposed to be a Zamorak level boss. It wasn't supposed to be hard for an endgame PVMer. I wasn't supposed to be dying all the time. And I I I think the difficulty levels probably about about right, which I usually don't say, but I think the whole idea of necromancy is these are things the game needs to thrive for 20 years to come. We need ways to get people into PVMing. And I think looking at it through that lens, it 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 seems really good for that. I mean, you've got the minions and their damage ramps up like crazy if you don't kill them. So you actually have to use your brain and plan out a way to kill them and use your AoEs and like, that seems really good to me. Dude, yeah, the attack range is just tiny. Like I, I do not understand what you're meant to do here. Like it doesn't seem telegraphed in any way where I can like be like, oh, clearly you're meant to, like I got no idea, man. They win? Nice. What exists? That was a 214 personal record. And let's get rid of these stupid Silverhawk boots. I'm sorry, I had them on for way too long. Oh my god! What? Wait, that goes really hard. Okay, I'm into that, I'm into that. Okay, I get it, I get it. That's my 25th kill. I've only had one plate drop and 25 kills. Uh-oh. But yeah, as soon as I've got my tier 70 gear, we're gonna go back to Raziel. 
Also, uh, my editor has been hard at work cooking up a Hermod guide earlier today. He used AI to replicate my voice, and he's wondering if we can take a quick look at it so that he can post it tonight. It was designed with a similar skill level to wow. God Wars 1 bosses, but with a little Dude, bit- Dude, AI's gone crazy. Yeah, no, I wrote the script this morning, and I recorded it this morning. <laughs> that was not this but I love my favorite comment was the person in chat that said the person in chat that said you can tell it's AI the voice sounds weird at the end Herbotic plate oh my god okay now we have to do one more to see if we get a back to back death dealer rope top tier 70 power done that's death dealer so now we augment it we perk it and then we go how goes new boss um I've been doing it uh but we're gonna I'm just perking my gear and then I'll do more it's literally got identical stats to my Sliske gear. That's okay though. Equipment separators on the Sliske gear. Impatient four wise one. Invig four mobile. Well, it's five crackling four. Fighting four demon slayer. This is almost a sub two. We're actually yoked. Two minutes and six seconds. We are absolutely flying now. See ya. Is that a PR? It is. Okay, 204. Getting better, getting better. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. We're insane. That was an insane last phase. Yeah, we're getting way better. That would have been a sub two. My last phase was slow. Good kill. <gasps> what is that? No, that's not the pet. The only drop that isn't valuable? Why does this happen at every boss? That always happens. That's so cool. Wait, wait, let's see it. Let's look at it. Miso. Oh, wait, it's a cat. Wait, what? It's a cat? Wait, why is it a cat? I'm not even mad anymore. This is easily the greatest pet in RuneScape. Good morning. Do you see? Do you see? There's one of you there. There's one of you on the screen. Look at that pure. That was a crazy kill time. We absolutely obliterated a 153. Dude, that last phase, it's like an I am the danger situation where it's like, yeah, the boss is dangerous, but you can also kill him so fast. That is level 101 necromancy. Also, that is 35,000 souls, which means we have a fully loaded talent tree every single necromancy talent unlocked on day two we now have a split soul 20 second duration that's um really good wait let's use it it looks so cool jesus go oh i'm so low but he's too oh oh my god yes let's go dude i got a rope top let's go dude come on yes dude i hate to say this but someone at jagex may have performed a minor oopsie with relation to the tier 95 gear the t95 necromancer is not augmentable there like i would keep it if i could use it but i can't use it why not sell it for a higher price now I'm happy with that. 3.3 bill, I'm happy with that. And then it'll probably buy tomorrow for 1.5. Beautiful, okay. Oh no, it's gonna hit the runes. Please don't, please don't hit the runes. Come on, volume souls. Finish him! Let's go, dude! Weeble! What? What? Double! What? What was that? Imagine that's your first 100% kill. Wait, did it bounce on the rune? Okay, so you can't use Death Skulls at Zami. It hit the B? The B kill me again. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not the first time this has happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to watch this. No way. No way. No way. Look at the ball! Look at the ball! 
What a PR? Wait. 136? Okay. F. G. F. Boom. So then we go T. It's just a way better start rot. I just did 300,000 damage in like eight seconds. This is consistent. Wait, I'm actually insane. I'm actually insane. I'm actually insane. It wasn't death marked. 130. Okay, we, we figured it out. I think we figured out Necromancy. Am I using Split Soul? Yes. I'm using Inspiration Aura. Okay. Talk through. Here's what I'm doing. Wait, his zombies never despawn. I don't know we're supposed to despawn. What? Wait, they don't despawn? I'm like, go gun. Oh, there's no way they're keeping this. I can see the post already. First Necromancer is immune to poison. What? I was about to say I'm not critting and then I could at 23k. That was a very slow kill. Yeah, it was because the spawn was bad. And that's kill 97. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, there's no way. I got the goal! That's the main hand! That thing is so expensive! There's no way! It's still not augmentable. Oh, mouse of the icon. Oh, you're correct. Sorry, I got this. 400% necromancy damage. Oh, touch death, finger death, death skulls. Immediately ready death spark. Oh, so your base is just do double damage! Okay, got it, I got it, I got it. So now, touch of death and finger of death both give me death sparks instantly. So it's like that, and then my auto attack is hitting 8Ks, and then death skulls, and then basic attack. I'm not even overloaded. Okay, we need a custom Revo bar for this. Oh, that's also unaugmented. Uh, Mod Ryan's letting me know that they're looking into the augmentable issue. So this thing is worth 12 billion coins, which means we have an extremely important decision to make. Because 12 billion is a ton of GP. And the boss dies in two minutes. And it's gonna go down in price. It's not sentimental. It's just like I don't I don't care about GP. I, I care about having an epic necromancy release where we get to and this is like a gift horse in the mouth. If this is a 12 bill weapon right now, and I can get the offhand for like eight, that's a huge win to me. That's an absolutely huge win. This is the question. No, because I'm very torn. Like I'm not gonna pretend like I'm like I'm sure about this, right? Because on one hand, people are going to clown me forever for like, Ryan, you threw away 12 bill and it's worth 100 mil in a week. This is my logic. And this is the way I'm feeling about it. What am I going to do with the GP? Like genuinely, I, I don't have anything left to buy that isn't a cosmetic. What, the next boss in three years? The, the next skill in three years? That's my point. Is you're going to say you're so stupid. You're spending 12. You could have 12 bill. I don't need 12 bill. What I want is a set of gear to test out. The only thing that I could do with that 12 bill is if the whole set is really, really rare and expensive, I want to get the whole set. But here's the thing. If the whole set is that expensive, selling this for 12 bill won't matter anyway because I'll have to buy it back and it'll stay expensive. We're keeping it. 100% I'm keeping it. Dude, it's got an eye. That's so cool. Wait, I'm kind of chonking right now. I ain't even gonna lie. Everybody's dying. It's not even augmented. Oh, yeah, we're keeping this thing. Are you kidding me? Okay, no, I want us back again. I'm not going to get a chance to. <laughs> Wait, it's not even augmented. Why well, didn't augment it? You can't. It's bugged. So imagine this spec, right? But then the other weapon in an EOF. Wait, it's already dead. 
Wait, it's Bon Ryan. <laughs> Wait, he's actually he's actually AFK in the big room. Have put them in the small room for you. I didn't want to ask you to move them. I'm just chilling. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Okay, let's cook with a Revo bar. Wait, if we use Scythe, he teleports. So we don't want Scythe. I think we might be able to semi AFK this. My Reaver's out of juice. Okay, I sign. My Godbook was on though. This is so sad I have to eat. I think if I had Spirit Weed Incense, I'd be okay though. Okay, so after this kill, I'm gonna grab a Spirit Weed Incense. Actually, maybe I pre Necromancy. Yeah, so figuring out a way to AFK this part is gonna be really, really hard. But I think we might be able to find a way to. I think there might be a way to. Weaver on one, vamp. Let's try this. I also don't know how good the zombie was. Give me that on the bar. Let's try it with necromancy prayer on. Yeah, see the one concern is like, I mean, I could put defensives on the bar. Wait, I was using darkness, dude. We know chat, this is actually gonna work like unironically. Now, is it a good thing that we're going to be able to semi-AFK Raziel? No. But as a man of science, I'm curious. Okay. So, so far I've done 150,000 damage. Oh, and 200,000. My Reaver is still healthy. We're semi-AFKing Raziel right now. Wait, I'm just full HP. Damn, dude. 238. I'm wearing tier 70 armor. Tier 90 weapon, but I'm not using the spec and it's not augmented. I'm not even wearing the tank armor, I'm wearing the power armor. And then you have to try on the last phase a little bit. And by try, I just mean run around aimlessly and hit random buttons and then it will die. Dude, the Blood Reaver is so stupid. Holy. Okay, guys, I need to think. I need to make a decision about this thing. The boss is way too easy to have a 10 bill drop. I just, the boss isn't hard enough. I really wanted to keep it. The boss isn't hard enough. I just AFK'd it on a Revo bar. There's no way a boss like this can retain its value. Now I'm sad because I really want to keep it, but we can't augment it. It's still bugged and first off, damn that coin pouch, but I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and it will have bought for like four bit less. It's just like, I don't care about GPU, but I'm not I'm not hemorrhaging it for a boss you can semi AFK. Yeah, it can't retain its value. Like I wanted to keep it and I thought there was a chance it retains its value, right? But as we see, like Goat got a back-to-back -back drop. He got back-to-back -back pants. I've had three different drops from this boss in a hundred kills. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. We'll see what happens. Hey, if I get screwed over, I got 40 bill and we'll go into debt to get it tomorrow anyway. But uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, like, and, and by the way, for what it's worth, like, I think TFN is actually a great boss. I think it's really fun. I have no issue with it dropping tier 95s on a 120 scale because the scaling is really different. It's like the equivalent of a tier 75. I will all say this. If it worked, I would have kept it. Uh, if it worked, I would have kept it and tested it out and 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 just kept it permanently but i literally can't even test it because you can't augment it currently and you can't augment the armor so we should wait dude imagine if a racer spent like 50 bill on an item and it just like didn't do anything thank you so much for watching this video and as always i appreciate the feedback the comments and the support and i hope you all enjoyed if you did i'd appreciate a sub and a like so you don't miss all the future awesome necromancy content we have planned